Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ray. Wow, it's so weird. I haven't been practicing my English because I haven't been teaching in such a long time. <laughs> I want to tell you about a perspective about life, which is called the librarian. I don't remember where I picked it up, where I read it, or if, if it was channeled for me or something like that. I want you to think about yourself as the librarian in a library of infinite books, infinite books. And you've read all the books. You've read them and you saw the characters and they were beautiful. The books don't change. And one day you told yourself, I'm tired of reading all these books. I want to experience the book. I want to experience a character inside the book. And what book can be Rayma Orr, you know, 1981 till 2030, you know, Israel, male, human being, earth. And every book is different, but the book was already written. And in order to experience the book, in order to experience duality and the emotions that come with it of not being in unity, of being separate from God or creation, if you want to say, separate from each other, have an experience with negative emotions and positive emotions and boundaries of the human body or anything like that, you had to go through the process. And again, it's a contracted process of forgetfulness. And the process inside the book, you are that character. You always try to remember who you are, the librarian, the observer, the allness, you know, in an infinite library with all these books. But you contracted yourself to forget. So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to be the character. Now the book has already been written. There's almost nothing that you can do about it. I know it's hard for us to think that there's no, there's a thing that is called destiny and our thoughts were known in advance. And even if we went to see a seer or a therapist and they told us something and they said, wow, it changed our life. That was also written that this is going to happen and this is going to change your life in your perception. And you're going to remember sometimes being the observer and you're going to forget sometimes being the observer and the librarian. But you are, in essence, the librarian and not the character in that book. The character is very temporary. And people like me are supposed to just remind you of that because I'm living more as a the librarian than I am as the character because I remember being the librarian. And in my book, it was written that I'm supposed to remember that I'm the librarian because I'm supposed to wake other characters up just like me. You know, people who are ready to become a little bit more yellowish, to become a little bit more, I don't know, that vibration of, of, of connection to the higher self and the downloads and the information that comes with it and the happiness and the joy that during the COVID time, I almost forgot that I actually had, but now I'm slowly remembering and recovering from that terrible, terrible time for me, you know? So think about it this way. Again, you are the infinite librarian. I want you to visualize it. I want you to imagine it. I want you to see the library and the options that you have within you and start opening your creativity up to alien life forms and to becoming different animals and to become different even suns and stars and planets and galaxies and each one of them has a different energy, you know? Don't think like a human being. Think about all of creation, all of unity and the infinite possibilities that they have. And now minimize yourself because in order to experience a human experience in a dual world on planet Earth right now, you had to forget about being the librarian. You feel like you don't belong. You feel like there should be something more. There is, and you don't. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. But if you really want to be the character, which is what you, again, contracted yourself to be, because you were that librarian in that time, and now you have to be that character. So be a human being. And what does a human being need? Go to work, suffer with other human beings, observe, feel, have sex, rest, dream, enjoy, talk, converse, do everything that a human being needs to do and stop trying to be the librarian. The librarian will come to you when you meditate, when you close your eyes and you ask for help, when you connect with being not a human being, when you connect to your inner self. But it doesn't mean that you have to be that all the time. And it doesn't mean that it's waiting for you back home. You have to experience the now. That's the story. You're just opening, you know, you're just going through the different pages of that book. Enjoy the now. 
Stop thinking about the librarian. You are already the librarian. You can't change that. You won't come back to it right now. You have all your life to enjoy being a human being. It's all about your perspective. But when you do that, and when you understand that the book has been written, and everything is known in advance, think about how light-hearted you become. There's nothing you can do to change anything. Anything at all. Everything is just like, you know, you're, you're on a raft, you're inside a huge river, and the world is taking you in the direction that was already written in the book. You cannot argue with that. Every argument is already written in the book. Every thought that you have, every emotion that you have, every relationship that you have, every job that you have, it's all written in the book. You have almost no choice, and that's amazing. Don't think that this choice was taken away from you. Think that you created those choices in order to experience different experiences. It was your control. You wanted to move from the librarian to a character. You wanted to experience the human life and you wrote down exactly what you're going to experience. Yes, maybe there's a tree of decisions, but all of them are written inside that book. And when you don't have that choice, and when you're trying to fight against reality and say, I don't accept that, and I'd like to change that, and that's imperfect for me, you're just forgetting the whole purpose. <laughs> you're just forgetting the whole purpose. You are the librarian. Remember, you are the librarian. Feel it, you know, feel that vibration that you have in, uh, in, in your body when I tell you these words and when you remember that. But then again, close your eyes. Now you're a human being, you're the character. Take it easy, guys. Don't take everything so hard. Namaste.